Salwadi Krap, and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mastanta, and it's Tuesday, October 17th. Here's the news you need to know. Following last week's shooting at the Hollywood nightclub on Patong's Bangalore Road, the management at the venue have had their contract terminated. Prap Kisin, the landlord of the venue and one of the most influential people in Patong, he confirmed the news saying the incident brought the venue into disrepute, especially with the fact that security allowed a man inside with a weapon. It all happened at about 2.45 a.m. last Thursday morning as the club was about to close when one man bumped into another man, an argument ensued and two shots were fired, leaving the 27-year-old victim with two wounds, one in his lung, and he's currently recovering at Bashira Phuket Hospital. The shooter surrendered to police later on Thursday, but he's since been released on 300,000 baht bail, though he is facing charges. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. And Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha is going to sit down with Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg sometime later this month. That's according to officials in Bangkok. Zuckerberg is set to arrive on October 30th to Thailand, all in an effort to talk with the PM about e-commerce, according to Deputy Prime Minister Som Kid. While Thailand is in the middle of developing its digital infrastructure to streamline its e-commerce ventures nationwide, the ruling military junta has jailed various people for violating Les Majeste laws on insulting the monarchy and the government with many of those comments made on Facebook. Previously, Thai telecom regulators had tried to get Facebook to comply with Thai laws on censorship. October 26th, that's the day of the royal cremation ceremony for the late King Bumibol Adulia Day. Well, it's just over a week away and several chain stores around the nation are changing their hours that day. 7-Eleven stores nationwide will close from 2.30 p.m. until midnight on October 26th, along with all True Shop stores except its airport branches. Also on October 26th, all central shopping malls, Macro and CP Fresh Marts will close starting at 3 p.m., while all bank branches and the Thai stock market will be closed all day. For a full list of what's going on, what's open, and what to do, visit thephuketnews.com. And sit tight, Phuket Extra. We'll be right back after this. Thailand's premier SSI Diamond Dive Center. Visit us in Geelong or on c-bees.com. CB's Diving. Adventure in good hands. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. It seems everybody is on board with a railway that will link all three international airports in Bangkok and Rayong. The plan calls for a 200 billion baht rail link that will connect Don Muang Airport, Suvarnabhum Airport and Utapao Airports, all of which are major travel hubs and officials say they expect over 160,000 passengers to use that rail every day. According to the project manager, recent public hearings organized by the State Railway of Thailand have seen no opposition, though some did ask that they build the walls with sound absorbing material to reduce noise pollution. The railway would be 260 kilometers long with 10 stations along the route, including stops in Pattaya, Chachongsao, Rayong and Sriracha with some underground stations as well. A mother in Nakhon Sri Tamarat is being charged with contracting her own son's killer after she was arrested by police at his funeral. The weekend funeral for 36-year-old Sarot saw police enter the ceremony and pull his mother to one side, 53-year-old Apapon, who confessed to authorities while outside in a car that she indeed paid a relative 70,000 baht to kill her own son. Reports say that the woman confessed that her son had not only assaulted her, but intimidated her into selling land all to pay for his drug habit, and that he had repeatedly threatened family members with a rifle. Reports say that the stepfather is also being charged since he knew about the plot, but the shooter remains at large. And some Thai officials are considering abolishing the death penalty. That's evident after a meeting was held in the capital, which was all to mark World Day Against the Death Penalty. The Chief of the Rights and Liberties Protection Department says it's not going to be easy to abolish the death penalty in the kingdom, which administered its last execution on August 2009. The chief said there is no proof that the death penalty can deter crime and that so far 141 countries have already abolished it, with Thailand part of the 57 nations that still administer state executions. A report cited her as saying that if no execution is carried out by 2019, 
the death penalty in Thailand will effectively be suspended, though that's still vague at best, especially with statistics that say 444 inmates nationwide are currently on death row. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube or thephuketnews.com, you can check out all these stories on the links below. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.